These are the few photos left of Marilyn Williams' childhood on the farm. Alongside $2 million worth of property, her other pictures were destroyed in the Dunalley bushfire. One that I, I miss the most is the um, family photo albums of um, my, my parents and growing up. In January 2013, Marilyn stood in the water at Conley's Marsh Beach with her family, watching the bushfire tear over the hill. The dogs were on kayaks and listened to what was going on because um, the noise of a bushfire, I don't think anyone who hasn't been through it, um, it's actually quite a loud um, uh, experience. The bushfire destroyed 93 homes, 186 buildings and burnt through 20,000 hectares. A trial last year found it was caused as a result of negligence. Justice Escort found that the defendants had been negligent for lighting the campfire in a, in a tree stump, um, which, is, which is against the law, and also for failing to properly extinguish that fire. Nine years on, the 445 victims and their insurance companies have now been paid out more than $28 million. They might have had uh, farm machinery that was uninsured uh, or, you know, uh, crops and uh, livestock and those sorts of things, very often not insured. The compensation was paid out by the defendant's insurers. It's been a long road to recovery for many in the community. And for Marilyn, the money doesn't solve the trauma, but it does provide a sense of closure. It's been very difficult for us to go back to that, back to that community and, and to the farm. In fact, ultimately the farm was sold a couple of years later. Um, a, a major part of that was due to um, recovery from the bushfire. Almost a decade on, it's the end of a traumatic chapter for the Williams. Sarah Jane Bell, ABC News.